Hello, and welcome to my new top 10 title themes. I love video game music very much, and even trying to put these in any sort of order was near impossible. But here we are. A title screen is pretty much the first thing we see from a game. Except for the logos, and any trailers, and magazine articles. Plus you got advertisement and demos. Oh, wow, what's this? An old Rosa Quest video? What's it been, like 10 years since the last one? Fopper, what, what the hell are you doing here? And what do you mean it's been 10 years? I put out a fully edited Beyond Good and Evil Let's Quest one month ago, and it has a whole 30 views. It was so worth it. Another game without a sequel. Damn you! What more can I say about this game? It's made by Rockstar, so you know to expect quality all around. <laughs> the title song sounds like the theme to a score, and it just makes me want to visit Bullworth right here, right now. Okay, 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 I know, I know. Before you get your pitchforks out because I print the most overtime game ever on the list, let me just say... Ever since the release of Shovel Knight, everyone has been praising it left, right and centre. And it deserves it. The whole game is a nostalgic throwback to 8-bit games of old, and this title screen captures what that is all about. It doesn't hold back, just like the game. It grabs you and takes you along for a ride. And what a hell of a ride it is. If you know me, you know I like my platformers, and Jack and Daxter is up there as one of my favourites. Literally, spoilers for the year 2020 when I make that top platformers list. It's gonna be on there. The soundtrack helps elevate this game even further in my opinion. The title theme is just so good it makes me even more sad that a proper platforming sequel to this game was never made. Along with the background image, it makes me feel like I'm in this world. It makes me feel like I'm part of this little village and oh how I hate it for that. I want to live there so bad. Damn it Naughty Dog, stop making your shooty shooty look how glorious Nate's nostrils look games. I mean, they're good, but... <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, how I loved you. Now this one was surprising to me, as I was sure I'd be picking a PS1 Crash Bandicoot track, or even Twin Sanity. Seriously, check out that soundtrack. It's like Smooth McGroove and the Beatbox Champion of 1999 were shoved in a blender. It's a glorious acapella dream. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Wrath of Cortex compared to the originals, I absolutely love this title theme. It feels like we're about to go on a crazy adventure. It just screams at me, Crash is back. Listen closely, I'm sure you can hear it too. You smell. Nope, okay, just me. Oh, that's some Desi tune right there. Woo! What that was? Croc! Legend of Gobos was my childhood, alongside Crash and Spyro. Sure, looking back at the game, it's not as good as them, but the soundtrack still stands high. The title theme is just so jazzy and cool and, oh, wait for it. Oh, I love it.
Oh man, the Uncharted games stand as some of my favourites. Just something about them I can't quite put my finger on. Maybe it's some of that secret Naughty Dog magic sprinkled on top. Let me, let me guess the plan. Who knows, all I do know is that Nate's theme, in all of its versions, is just amazing. It pumps you up ready for that grand Tomb Raiding adventure, and I want to give in every time. What's that, another Naughty Dog game on the list? Well, maybe it's not the last we'll see, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, oh, it is. Next. Dear God, was this a hard choice. Do I go for the eerie Metro Prime theme? That's good. The epic Metro Prime 2? Oh man, so good. Or the haunting corruption theme. Oh, it's so hard! Metro Prime Trilogy! <coughs> it's a mashup of all three themes put into one glorious mix. It's like they took the games, threw them into a blender. I absolutely love Metroid, and the Prime Trilogy is some of the best of Metroid, containing some of the best music out there. It's haunting, it's epic, it's so god I changed my mind, it's Metroid Prime 1, or, or 2, or maybe the third. All of them! All of them! Oh god! Uh. There is something so haunting and depressing about this song. There is something so haunting and depressing about the entirety of Majora's Mask. This calm, peaceful song is also the same tune that is played in Clock Town. It is what you will be listening to constantly throughout the game. And when things get darker or more desperate for you, and the town... Uh, I don't like this one at all, I'm gonna start recording again. It is what you will be listening to constantly throughout the game, and when things get darker and more desperate for you and the town's inhabitants, that's when the music twists and turns and oh god, here it comes! <laughs> Grand Gorgelicious Kirkhope. Endless, end it now, we done, go! Yes, everyone always mentions Grant Kirkhope and his music always comes up, especially the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack. And for good reason, he's an amazing composer, an astonishing composer, and I adore his work. He even made the most amazing soundtrack for Cityville 2. Cityville 2? That's a baseball game. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. This theme is epic. It sounds like the grand opening to a movie, but no, even better, it's from a game. I got distracted by other things, so didn't get to play much of this game, but the soundtrack alone is drawing me in. It's calling me to play. Grow up, baby. Never stop making music.
I love Ratchet and Clank, like quite a lot. So much so that my cat is named Ratchet. Oh, look at him, so cute. My number one spot goes to the latest game in the franchise, Nexus, or oh, into Nexus if you're American. Damn you, Ski. It's just so beautiful. It's an epic, driving, thoughtful, and peaceful piece all in one. It makes me want to explore space, blast bad guys with oversized weapons, and adventure everywhere. Oh, and when you beat the game, you get an amazing 8-bit remix version on the title screen instead. Brilliant. So there we have it, 10 of my favourite main title themes. Let me know what your favourites are in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it, I hope you enjoyed and found some new music or games to enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. If you wanted to listen to any of them tracks, I've set up a playlist, you never be at a cool order you little cheaters. So go check it out. Anyway, as always, let me know what you think in the comments, please like, comment, subscribe, share, do everything. It makes me feel slightly loved. I like it. <laughs> now, bring on the top, the, the top 10? We just done the top, bring on the jab chain. Run it again, go! I'll just watch it again, either way. I was gonna say bring on the bottom 10, but... Ugh, no way I'm doing that. Okay, see you later, bye. All those games we beat today, damn! Oh wow. Hello school! <laughs> oh look at that, that is terrible. Oh my god! It's appearing right before my eyes!